Hey kids, we're back at craft. Yep, we are back at Craft Coco. And today we're going to be making a cloak. Because do you remember how St. Juan Diego had his cloak and that Mary appeared on his cloak? So we're not gonna be making a whole image of Mary on our cloak, but we're just gonna be making something to remind us of that. So I've got this Hessian material for the cloak. And then with that, on that, we're gonna decorate it. We're gonna make a heart out of this green felt. And I've got some flowers as well, because remember, she made the miraculous roses to appear, and she, which Juan Diego brought to the bishop, and some golden string to stick our heart on, a pencil, a big needle to go through this, and also some scissors. So, Shall we start? Let's get started. So first of all, we're going to cut out a heart shape out of this. So we're gonna fold it in half and draw a big heart shape all around here. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut it And we're gonna open it out. And look at that, it's a full heart shape. How cool. Now Coco, yes Coco, Coco has a question. Oh, he's asking why are we making a green heart instead of a red heart? Well, we're making green because when Mary appeared to Juan Diego, she was wearing a beautiful green cloak. So this green will remind us of the green cloak that Mary wore. All right. So next step is to stick it onto our cloak. Now for this part, we need our thread and our big fat needle. And this one's not very sharp, so you don't need to be too careful with it, but you still need to be careful with it that you don't go poking things with it and hurting yourself. Okay, so we're going to get a nice long piece. Not too long, but not too short. Snip that off. Put that to the side. And we're gonna stick one end through this head here. And then secure it with a little knot. There we go. That's to secure it through there. Okay, so to make our needle stick through this hard material. We're just gonna make some little snips along the edges of our heart so that we can stick it through both ends. Okay, so we're gonna fold it in half. It doesn't need to be a big snip, just a little snip for our little needle to go through. Little snip. And you're just gonna make little snips like that along all the way along the edge. Yay, all our snips are done. Now it's ready for us to poke our holes through it to stick onto this material. So, we're gonna start from the bottom. And what we need to do is make a knot at the end. There we go, a nice big knot so it stays on the other side. And we're gonna pull that all the way through until it comes to the stop at the knot. And then we go on the outside. So this time we're not going to go through the heart. We're going to go on the outside of the heart. And then we're going to find our next hole along the next way. And then we're going to repeat this whole process all around the edge of the heart so it stays on. It becomes a pattern. There we go. Now the last one. Push it through done so well to get this far. Push it through to the other side and to make it secure, I'll show you on the back. It looks crazy on the back, doesn't it? It doesn't, don't worry. It only matters what it looks like on the front. So we're gonna cut it off the string and we're just gonna tie a few knots here. Maybe two more knots just to make sure. 
There we go. Now we can snip this end off. Get our scissors, snip it off. We don't need that bit anymore. Okay, and on the other side, look how great it looks. All right, now for the extra decoration with these flowers, with these special roses. Now these ones didn't come from Mary herself, but it will remind us of the ones that Mary did make appear for Juan Diego. So we're gonna bring them all over here. And so they've got these little ends on them and we're just gonna stick them through the material and in a little pattern. So we're gonna stick that through and then stick the other end up again, up the other side, and then secure it by just twisting it around the other stem. You can put as many flowers as you like. I've got all these different colors. So here's my last rose, I think. Got a nice pattern going down at the bottom. I'm just gonna finish it off with this last little one. That's all our flowers. And then that's our cloak done completely. So we've got our heart, our green heart to remind us of the love which Mary has for all of us. And a green cloak which she appeared to St. Juan Diego and our lovely roses to remind us of the roses, the miraculous roses that she gave to Juan Diego to show to the bishop. And our cloak as well, which looks a, a little bit like the cloak Saint Juan Diego had. It wasn't a very rich cloak and this one isn't either. And his one is still lasting over 500 years. Do you reckon our cloak will still be lasting over 500 years, Coco? <coughs> Maybe we'll need a bit of help from Mary if we want ours to last from 500 years. Okay, there we go. And you can either hang it up or you can wrap it around your shoulders. But there it is. Our lovely Saint Juan Diego, Our Lady of Guadalupe cloak. Hi kids, now I would love to see your own designs for your Saint Juan Diego cloak. And you can show it on the website and Coco and I would love to see it. Have fun.